how's it guys Junaid here um, it's our first uh, paid presentation video for 2020 and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate for you a paid presentation and also a trace demonstration on targeting stump nose uh, natal stump nose on the KZ and coastline uh, I'm going to be tying a ghost crab uh, bait uh, found that uh, using ghost crab in its natural form best so I'm going to show you guys uh, exactly what I do to target uh, uh, stump nose when I'm using a crab bait. so just to run you through the trace I've got my braid leader using 120 pound attached to a, a power swivel I uh, use about uh, maybe 60 centimeters of 0.90 uh, nylon leader attached to a combination swivel use a relatively short uh, trace for targeting stump nose because uh, when fishing amongst the reefs and fishing amongst the rocks you don't want a too long trace so if the fish is on you can possibly get reefed if your trace is too long so I use a cone sinker probably about 50 centimeters long and I use a, 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 I use a, some nylon with 0.90 or 0.80 probably floral carbon and a 80 hook so basically that is it for my trace and just to show you guys what I do to prepare the bait uh, at some point you catch uh, two ghost crabs and uh, you, you start your bait by firstly cutting the legs off uh, until all the legs are off from the bait uh, you remove the legs out of the crabs of the body until you have uh, two bodies and you have a whole lot of, uh, of legs uh, from the side and uh, to start your bait you need to remove the shell off from your, from your crab so remove the shell off and uh, from either side just to remove this hard part off and uh, take your middle of your crab and you split it in half find some fleshy meat inside the, the crab uh, you'll find it ended up with, with four parts and uh, you left it depends on the size of the crab so these are like small to medium sized crabs so you can, uh, you can get only two pieces from it it's very simple you don't use cotton for this bait uh, you start with your, your hook and you pin in uh, your leg of your crab so you pin it in and weave it in through. You usually, I usually pin two at a time, and uh, you pin it in through the eye lightly. And uh, thereafter, you take a, a body of the crab and you pin the body of the crab in. Uh, you pin this through, and here you have two legs, and you have a body of a crab. And uh, you pin in another two legs. Pin, pin this through. Uh, you can vary the size of the legs of the crab some are big legs and some are small uh, you can after another two legs you put in uh, another body of the crab go in with another two legs and repeat the process until you have uh, all of your legs of your crab and your body of the crab in and uh, this bait is usually uh, a very very effective bait for catching a stump nose. Make sure you're, you pin through the body of the of the crab until it goes through. Uh, sometimes if the body is too small, it doesn't go through. But uh, make sure you continue pinning this in, and until you come to the end, you start using only perhaps one leg. You come to your your final part of your body uh, this is probably broken off and uh, you come to your last part you pull this in and to, towards the end you don't thread your your legs uh, right through you just leave it on the on the shank of the hook or on the curve of the hook and uh, here you have it you have uh, your bait for stump nose uh, this is this is your basically your bait 
for, for Stumpy. Uh, this bait is a very natural bait. Uh, you don't throw this bait far at all. If you throw it far, it usually uh, comes off. Uh, you just uh, lock this bait uh, close to the reef as possible and you wait. You don't have to use cotton. If you want to use cotton, you can tie on the body of the, of the crabs. But basically, this is your bait, which is very, very effective. Uh, probably caught around 30 or 40 stumpies using this bait. Uh, it works very well. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, give it a give it a try. And uh, all the best for your stumpy fishing. Short, guys.